Good morning children. Now that we know what is a cell, let's learn and compare different types of cells. We already know a cell is made of protoplasm which is enclosed by a thin cell membrane. The protoplasm is further made of cytoplasm and nucleus. The nucleus is generally spherical in shape and is located at the center of the cell. This nucleus carries genes, controls protein production and also acts as a control center for most of the activities in the cell. You know, generally nucleus is separated from the cytoplasm by a membrane which is called the nuclear membrane. Cells which have organized nucleus surrounded by a nuclear membrane is called a eukaryotic cell. The cells in the human body are eukaryotic cells as the nucleus is surrounded by the nuclear membrane. You know, you means true and karyon means nucleus. So, eukaryotic cells have true nucleus. But bacteria don't have nucleus with nuclear membrane. Their genetic materials are open in the cytoplasm. This kind of cell is called prokaryotic cell. Pro means primitive and as we know karyon means nucleus. So organisms with prokaryotic cells are primitive organisms. Organisms with prokaryotic cells are mostly microscopic which means we need a microscope to see them as most of them are made of one cell only. So we humans including animals and plants we see around us have eukaryotic cells. Eukaryotic cells are more organized and advanced compared to the prokaryotic cells. For example, eukaryotic cells have organelles like mitochondria, lysosome, endoplasmic reticulum, etc. which prokaryotic cells don't have. Prokaryotic cells perform anaerobic respiration that is respiration without the need of oxygen but most of the eukaryotic cells perform aerobic respiration which means oxygen is required for respiration. Now that we know about cell you might think what are the differences between plant and animal cell. Let us find it out. Both the cells in human body and the cells of a mango tree are eukaryotic cells. But there are many differences between the plant cell and animal cell. If we observe the plant cell under a microscope then what do we see? There is a thick outer membrane additional to the cell membrane. This is called cell wall. Now you might think what is the use of cell wall in the plants? This additional layer surrounding the cell membrane is required by the plants for their protection. Protection against what? Well, they need protection against the variation in climate such as variation in temperature, high wind speed, moisture etc. And why are they exposed to this variation? They are exposed to this variation because they cannot move unlike us. Thus, animal cells 
only have cell membrane but the plant cells have cell membrane and also the cell wall we know that plants make their own food through the process of photosynthesis chlorophyll which helps in photosynthesis resides inside an organelle called plastid this green colored plastids are called chloroplasts so plants have this colored organelles called plastids the animal cells don't have plastids hence they cannot perform photosynthesis both the plant and animal cells have vacuoles the animal cells generally have many small vacuoles but in case of plants the cells have only one or few big vacuoles which they use to store food and waste so to sum up what we learned today first the differences between eukaryotic and prokaryotic cells the nuclear membrane is present only in the eukaryotes it is not present in the prokaryotes organelles such as mitochondria golgi body endoplasmic reticulum etc are present only the eukaryotic cells they are not present in the prokaryotic cells examples of eukaryotes are multicellular organisms for example we humans plants etc examples of prokaryotes are bacteria and blue green algae and what is the difference between an animal cell and a plant cell well the cell wall is not present in the animal cell it's only present in the plant cell an animal cell has many small vacuoles but plant cell generally has one or few large vacuoles the colored organelle that is plastids are present only in the plant not in animal cells lastly the nucleus is generally present in the center in case of animal cell but it gets pushed away towards the cell wall due to the large vacuole present in the plant cell so that was all about cell bye bye children